Look what he made me do. I met somebody new. Ooh, baby, baby, I'm dating with another stranger. <laughs> hey, strangers. So in today's video, as you can see from the title, it has been a hot minute since I had a date with a stranger video and I had to post this up because I'm like you know what I took like a good break or so and there are some things about dating that I do want to fill in with you guys but obviously this is not about that this is about a dating story anyways um this person that I went on a date with it was kind of like a one and done sort of thing that sounds wrong but um basically I talked to this guy for like I want to say less than a week and I've noticed that before I would talk to um, people for at least like a month or at least at least three weeks. Nowadays I realize there are people who want to get to know somebody face to face and that's their best way of getting to know someone or they want they don't want to waste time. I totally get that. So I was like okay um, this guy wants to meet me sooner than later so why not. So it was the day before um, the whole Canadian election thing, uh, which happened on Monday, Monday the 21st, if I'm correct, or Monday the 20th, one of those days. Um, so when I was chatting with him, he seemed really nice, um, very cool, um, and he we kind of almost had the same sense of humor. So that's why I felt like I could connect with this person. And then later we ended up swapping phone numbers right away, which was really cool. Um, usually I try not to swap phone numbers too fast because... I don't know. You never know what someone can do with your phone number information. And I'm just, I get so paranoid. You know, I get paranoid. I'm tripping. I was just like, I don't know if I should give the number, but whatever. YOLO. So when we were talking, um, I was at work at this point and it was on a Sunday. And then later he was just like, oh, like, if you like what are you up to later tonight and I was like mm, you know I kind of want to see this guy but at the same time I don't know um so then later he offered the idea saying hey how about like we go for a drink we can talk about politics and I think it would be a great opportunity to you know talk about it like who you're gonna vote for and stuff like that so I'm like oh, okay and mind you although I'm 28 this is this was my first year voting. Please don't come at me. It's just I wasn't unsure of who to vote for in the past years. And I am the type where like I... If I could give somebody my vote, like if I could give somebody that responsibility to vote on my behalf, I would. But I totally get it now. So, and this year was a huge thing. So I was like, oh great like he's gonna give me a chance to educate me on politics and you know I'll learn more about it so why not so I was like okay sure I was pretty excited about it you know because I felt like we um had many things in common uh when we texted each other I did look forward to his text um throughout the day so I was like oh like this is nice you know and somebody who can converse which is a huge plus so I was like okay let's do it so then later, um, he was like, okay, do you want to meet up like around nine if that's cool? I'm like, yeah, that's totally fine. So basically I finished work at six this day and then later I got home, basically um, got ready quick time just because I knew I was going to go see him. And then my heart was like racing a little bit and it was kind of weird. But then I kept thinking to myself like, oh my God, so like stop having this expectation when you're meeting someone, just go with the flow. Because I feel like when you're interested in somebody behind the phone screen or behind the computer screen you don't know what to expect especially if you haven't talked to them on the phone before or you haven't like you know you haven't seen them so why are you getting so worked up and you guys know I've had an experience of where I thought I was head over heels over somebody and then it was just a complete turnaround so I didn't want that to happen again um so upon meeting this guy I wasn't showing any signs of like oh I can't wait to see you or like smiley faces or anything like that it's very rare for me to compliment guys not not because like I'm trying to be bitchy or anything but it's just for me when I compliment somebody I have to be really really into you or I have to be really um like I have to tell you that I like you you know what I mean like I can't just comp over compliment guys the same thing over and over again because to me it doesn't feel genuine so um 
upon meeting him, I was really nervous. We were meeting at a TTC station and basically this guy was driving all the way from another city, which is like, and I don't know what it is. I feel like I tend to go on dates with guys who are from like either Mississauga or Markham, whatever. I was just like, what the fuck? Um, but yeah, he was willing to drive down and then later he texted me saying that he was there. So I was like, oh shit. And then I remember like standing behind like the entrance of the TTC and then I saw like an emergency light blinking. So I was like, oh shit, that might be him. Okay, I gotta go. So then I start walking out and I see this like white car, okay? And I'm like, oh shit, okay, there he is. And as I'm walking towards the car, I'm like smiling and like going like this. And then the guy looks at me and I thought it was him. I was like, oh snap, okay, he looks kind of cute, you know, in person, what the fuck? And as I'm walking closer, he's just like, wrong car. And I'm just like, oh my god, what an idiot. But then at the same time, like, you know what? There's such thing as Ubers. This guy probably thought I was mis mistaken him as my Uber or some shit. I hope so. That was fucking embarrassing. So then I called him and I'm like, hey, where are you at? And then he's like, oh, I'm actually across the street. I think I see you. I'm like, oh, crap. And one of my main fears, like something that gives me a little bit of a social anxiety is walking towards my date. Um, I don't know what it is. It's just when I walk towards my date, I have this thing where like I constantly think they're judging me or I constantly think, oh, my God, how am I looking? You know what I mean? I'm trying to work hard on that, I'm trying to be more comfortable with myself but i was like oh my god i had my headphones in i was pretending to text but really i was like oh god he's probably looking at me you know what i mean so finally i get inside the car and then um you know we, we were just like oh where do you want to go and all that stuff and i didn't look at his face i should have looked at his face um upon looking in the car because one, it's dangerous to just go in a car blankly and not confirming that it's them. And you never know, right? If he were to drive off and cause a havoc, I at least would know what he looks like. I was just so nervous. I just kept looking straight ahead at the dashboard. And then he's just like, oh, so where do you want to go? And then I had a couple options for him. But then he ended up choosing um, this one bar that was pretty chill. Um, Actually, no, it's not chill. I lied. It's, it's called L Furniture Warehouse and it's pretty loud and ranky there ranky is that a word pretty lousy but i love the music there because it's always bopping so then later um we finally got there and then he's like oh wow like this place is pretty interesting I'm like yeah the food's cheap and it's really good um but yeah let's go so upon conversating i just felt like i was the one driving the conversation more and i was really excited to talk about politics for once usually i find that stuff boring but because it was the day before voting and he said he was going to talk to me about it we didn't really discuss about that which was quite interesting he kept complimenting on the music video a lot um that was playing in the shop in the shop that was playing in the restaurant and he repeated a lot of things so i kind of felt bad um, so I kept asking him like, hey, are you feeling okay? Like, are you feeling sick? Because he did have the sniffles. Um, and then I would say things like, oh, just let me know when you want to go home. And he was just like, why do you want to end it early? I'm like, no, 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 it's not that. It's just you live all the way. Like, you live like 20, 30 minutes away from here. So I just thought, because you're taking a drink, I don't want you to, you know, feel tired and you have work tomorrow, whatever. So then um, the honestly the setting in the restaurant was fine like it was just a mediocre date um nothing really stood out to me to be honest and i think that's where like i don't know how to say this but like you know when people aren't feeling a date they want to cut it short and leave i'm the type where like even if a date is not going so well i'll still give them a chance because you never know what if they're not feeling me right and then what if i'm feeling them vice versa like it's um, I like to give somebody the full experience, not sexually, getting to know me, me getting to know them. And then at the end of the day, once there's a final like, okay, end scene, then I'll be like, okay, is there going to be a next time or not? We stayed at the restaurant for like, I want to say maybe two hours or about an hour and a half. And then it was until like, it got pretty late. So I was just like, oh, okay, so like, should we get the bill? And he's like, yes. So I'm the type where if I'm not really interested in you, um, especially for the first date, I just, I don't feel right when they take the bill. Like I don't feel right when they pay for it because 
if at least I was interested in them, I can genuinely say, hey, okay, if you're going to pay this time and you're really wanting to, let me at least pay for next time, you know, like, because I want to see them again. But at this point, I don't know if I wanted to see this person again. So I was just more like, oh, like, you know, I had my wallet out and I'm like, hey, don't worry, let's split it. He's like, no, no, don't worry. It's fine. It's fine. And I'm like, no, no, let me pay. And he's like, no, no, it's cool. And I'm like, I didn't want to make a scene. So I was like, hey, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, which I do. Um, but I feel like I've lost my momentum of really fighting for the bill because me as a person i like owning up to my own shit i know a date some people are like oh but they should pay because they asked you out but i i don't know what are your thoughts on that i want to know so as the restaurant thing ended another thing that i felt like we didn't click on as well was i like asking my current dates on like how's your experience been like on you know tinder or how's your ex experience been like on online dating and I don't need to know much information I just want to know like has it been going well how do you handle it if something's not going well it's more so on like a behavior aspect I don't really want to know too much on specific people if that makes sense um unless it's like a funny crazy story then go for it but um yeah I think this guy felt so comfortable with me that he would like call these dates like he would call these women like oh the other bitch was crazy and stuff and for me red flag is when somebody calls somebody else crazy because i'm just saying you're probably the crazy one but we went over to his car and i should have went to the subway station right away and just been like hey don't worry about it um you know i'm just gonna go head out to the subway and you can just go home but i don't know why naturally i went to his car and then um he asked me where i lived so he could drop me off so then later upon arriving to my building he was just like oh so um what do you want to do now like is it cool if like i come over for a bit and usually because the restaurant vibe was so like you know blase there wasn't anything that made me think oh he wants something um i was just like oh well i have bo a board game at my place and if you want like i have soju um if you want to drink a little bit and just like chill and get to know each other more i'm fine with that but my main rule of thumb was he was not coming in here not here we went to the living room, I texted my roommate, I was like, hey, my guy friend is coming over. Just because I didn't want her to feel uncomfortable that I'm bringing a first date here, you know what I mean? And I was so glad that she was home. So when we got here, um, basically we played this board game that I really like and it was fun. Like, a uh, loser takes a shot, but I didn't want him to take too much shots because he ain't staying the night, first of all. And I didn't want him to like drink and drive, obviously. So um, we only did like one or two rounds and then later it was fun. Um, it was until he was like, oh, if you lose, like you have to give me a massage. And I'm sorry, but massage, especially the motion of it, I don't know what it is. For some people, they get this like blood circulation and they get sexual frustrations and then shit happens, you know, and I don't want that shit to happen. So I was just like, I don't know if I want that rule, but okay, let's try. Obviously, when he sets that rule, I fucking lose. And then later, um, he was just like, oh yeah, you owe me a massage. I'm like, okay. So I'm massaging his back, right? And then later, he's just over his shirt. And then he's just like, oh, do you have any lotions or anything? I was like, no. He's like, oh, really? You don't have any lotions? And thank God in the living room, I didn't. In my bedroom, I do, but I ain't telling him that. So I was like, no, I don't have any lotions. And then he's just like, oh, okay. Um, you can go under the shirt if you want. And I'm like, mm, I'm kind of okay over the shirt. And then he's just like, oh, no, no, here, here. And he lifts up his shirt. And I'm just like, oh, my God, no, this is not happening right now. But okay, play it cool. So I'm massaging him a little bit. He's like, oh, you're pretty good. You're pretty good. And I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it. I think it's because, not to be mean, but he just... I wasn't attracted to him and that's okay you know sometimes people aren't attracted to me and that's okay too um so I was just like oh, I don't know if I'm feeling this so I'm massaging him and then later he's just like oh how about I massage you back I'm like oh yeah because I fucking love massages 
that's the next best thing to salami. So I was like, okay, yeah, you can massage me. So then later, um, he just massaged me. He's like, oh, how does that feel? And I was on like, oh my god, yeah, yeah. I was just, you know, oh yeah, it feels good because I'm, you know, I have like a sore back or whatever. So then later he goes, oh, how about like we cuddle a little bit. And I was kind of scared that he was going to ask to go to my room and thank God he didn't. But I was like, oh, cuddle? Haha. <laughs> what do you mean? And then he was just like, here, sit, sit on the couch. Because at this point, after he massaged me, I went on the floor and sat down. He's sitting on the couch. And then I'm like, oh, no, no, it's okay. I'm like pretty comfortable sitting down here. And then he's just like, oh, no, no, no. Like, come, come sit on the couch. It's pretty comfortable up here. And in my head, I'm like, boy, I know it's comfortable up there. It's my couch. Like, come on. I was just like, no, no, it's okay. I'm okay sitting down here. And then he's like, no, no, come, come. So I was like, fuck. So then I sit on the couch. And then later he starts putting his, like, can on my hip. And I'm like, oh, no, this is where it begins. And then later he, like, you know, pulls me closer to him. And we're listening to music at this point, And we're just talking, which was nice in a sense where, like, the company was great and everything. And then he started holding my hand, which I didn't mind because at this point I felt like, okay, nothing bad. Like, he didn't really try to do anything to me, so it's fine. So I did hold his hand. Um, and then later he's just like, so what do you think about this? And I'm, I told him straight up. I'm like, to be honest, I'm not really feeling it because it's going so fast and also we just kind of talked and this is our first time meeting so it's hard for me to grasp on what I want but it is nice in a sense where you know we're talking we're seeing each other like in person um and then later he started saying oh like how about we lay down and my couch it's a futon couch so it's pretty small so I'm like eh, are you sure he's like yeah yeah let's let's lay down and as we're laying down, in my head, I just kept thinking, like, am I doing the right decision? Because I wasn't sure if I was leading him on. Um, I was just literally following his lead, if that makes sense. I'm not trying to blame it on him, but I just wanted to give it a chance. I'm like, no, I'll give it a chance. I'm not really at my limit yet, so whatever. And my roommate was honestly next door, so if I really needed help, I could call for her. So then later we lay down and I'm just like thinking in my head like damn like I don't know if he wants to fall asleep here because I don't really want that but I also wanted him to sober up um, and I didn't want him to drive you know feeling sick. So then later he started smelling me like, sniffing my neck and at that point I was just like oh I don't know if I can do this I can't even shut my eyes like I was just so uncomfortable and then later he's just like oh you smell good like oh no no and then I at this point was kind of like clenched like this because I don't want him to like you know um and then later he started like kissing here and that's when I was like hey I'm sorry like it's getting really late I literally got up right away right when he started kissing here I'm like sorry like I just I'm not feeling like this right now and I just I it's 2 a.m. And I think, yeah, I have to wake up early tomorrow, vote. And I think you should head on home because it's getting pretty late. Luckily, he was very responsive to that. He's like, oh, like, you want me to leave? And I was like, I don't want you to necessarily, like, leave, like, get out. But more like, I think it's time because it's getting pretty late. And it's just, I'm not feeling it. And then he was like, oh, why don't you just come on top of me? I'm like, no, no, sorry. Like, I think it's best, like, if we call it a night. So then later, um, he was like, oh, okay. And I really did respect that he listened um, and he wasn't aggressive, which nobody should. Um, if somebody tells you to do something in a nice way, you should listen. Um, so I was very thankful for that. And then later, you know, I gave him a hug, um, didn't kiss him or anything because I just, I just didn't feel it. So then later, upon leaving the date, when he got home he got home safely and he messaged me saying so what did you think about me and honestly that whole day after the date I just kept thinking like what am I looking for because there are nights where you know I feel lonely if I'm being completely honest I do feel lonely and I feel like I'm starting to get confused with company connection versus emotional connection and I think that's what I'm trying to figure out with myself because upon this journey of me self-discovering and also loving myself which I'll do an, another video about 
I just felt like in this standpoint, I was trying to fill the company aspect and it just didn't cut it for me. So I told him, hey, I'm just going to work for a little bit. Um, I'll message you a thorough explanation on how I feel after that. And then I told him, like, honestly, I thought he was a nice guy. Um, I felt like he was, it was very sweet that he took care of the bill. And also he came all the way from Markham. And I really appreciate that. But I felt like because upon cuddling, he did talk about like, oh, maybe we should think about doing like an open relationship and stuff and to be honest I'm not looking for that right now I'm not looking for an open relationship if anything I'm I am ready for a relationship I find um but I don't want to rush into one if that makes sense like it, I think if I found somebody that I knew I liked and they liked me back I am curious to see where it's going to lead us but I don't want to jump into a relationship right away because I felt like that's what happened in my last one that only lasted so short um and i learned a lot from that too so i just felt like no to be honest i'm looking for that real connection and that real connection comes from like mentality from emotionally instead of just physically and then he was just like oh girl like you know it doesn't hurt to try being friends with benefits you know and i told him like to be honest like if i'm being real with you guys i had moments where like i had friends with benefits or like I had moments where you know you meet somebody just for physical stuff and honestly it's fun and games if it's mutual but if you're not feeling it don't do it um so I told him like to be honest I'm just done with that you know I'm done with like oh let's give this other person a try and it's fine if you do that but I'm just not into that I don't want to give every date that I go with a physical thing you know what I mean so I told him like sorry like that's not not what I'm looking for um, and then he respected that but then the next day he did message like saying are you up for a wine tour and I know this wine tour he meant to go like to another city possibly stay the night and I don't think I can do that especially if it's just gonna be me and this person under one roof with nobody to supervise I don't know if I feel safe um, or feel comfortable rather because um, he is a nice guy but I don't I just don't feel comfortable so my lesson to you guys is honestly if you just are unsure about something best to just be like hey cut it short because the worst thing that could happen is you being like oh man I really do want to see them again then you can see them again and I would rather have that than you guys accept somebody's offer to come over to your house and then you're kind of like, oh, snap, coat blue, which I should have known better. But I mean, now I learn with every date, I learn something new. And honestly, if you're not feeling the click, just put your foot down and say so. Another good tip too is even if your roommate or somebody you know isn't home, just do a little fit that they are home. And luckily it was in my favor because my roommate was home and it was late. So um, even if she wasn't, I would have lied that she was. But yeah, like I'm still, I took a good couple months break from dating because there were some things that happened midway, which I will do in another dating video because um, I feel like enough time has passed. But I am back on actively on the dating app again just to kind of see who I can meet. Um, but it is getting a little bit tough. I'm not going to lie because I feel like once I get to know somebody and I like them, it somehow just kind of like goes down the drain or the other person just doesn't know how to communicate in saying hey I'm not interested in you anymore which is a huge problem and honestly like I can just talk about that for hours but that will be in another segment because this video is gonna be too long but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this dating story and honestly if you guys have any questions about anything please comment down below because I really love like reading comments and also hearing constructive criticism from you guys and also if you guys have any other video ideas that you guys want me to do um, it doesn't have to be dating related it can be like lifestyle or whatever beauty related whatever you guys want but as always I try to post a vlog video and a beauty video um, per week there's no specific date for that and then obviously I post one of these dating segments out of the blue here and there but anyways as always I like talking to myself that's not a lie if you like what you see hit subscribe bye strangers